Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Bumblebee movie, Ratchet. But before we look at Ratchet himself, we're going to look at the packaging. Got some nice product shots of Autobot Ratchet. You know what I mean? His name on the package. And I think this part may have gotten ripped off, I think. But it's supposed to show Ratchet in robot mode. Transformers Bumblebee movie. Autobot Ratchet. Product shot of Autobot Ratchet in his robot mode on the back. Transformation steps. The works, and it is Energon Igniter compatible. So I'll show that off by getting an igniter before we transform this figure. Because it's got a gimmick, and it rolls with the gimmick. Let's see if I can get the gimmick to work, huh? It rolls, and that's the gimmick. I can't get it to work completely because this figure is a lot fussier than my other Energonic Nighter figures. But it rolled a little bit, so that's all there is to say for vehicle mode. These cannons come out in vehicle mode, so let's disconnect this igniter and get down to transformation. Very simple, flip down the these panels to form the legs, split them, split the arms out like so, fold down the hood section to become the chest, and split out the legs. And this door folds up in like so, and there we got Autobot Ratchet in his vehicle mode, looking all Michael Bay colored figure. But this is supposed to be a Generation 1 style ratchet, but it just reminds me of Michael Bay's ratchet. I don't have my Michael Bay Optimus to compare this to. It's in the cabinet. And I'm not going to make a trip all the way. It is an Autobot Energon Igniter ratchet worth adding to your Transformers collection? Yes, he is worth the money if you can find him for a good price. I got this for 10 bucks, and he is going on my figure shelf with my other Transformers. So glad to have this, and so glad I reviewed this. It's a fun, simple gimmick figure, and I just love those gimmick figures. That's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this was Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.